Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for joining on this another video session today. So this is the second of June and this is on Wednesday. So I hope you're having a great Wednesday today as well. It's been a sunny day in Tokyo finally after a couple of uh, rainy days. I was outside and uh, enjoyed the air. And tonight in Japan time, I've got uh, I have to need to do some paperwork and also uh, a couple of meetings at night time. So uh, that's why I've decided to take a video and upload on my YouTube channel. And today I would like to talk about the Euro JPY. Uh, Euro JPY on the one hour time frame is still ranging. It's a box range, but a uh, higher time frame is still showing uptrend. And I've created my analysis on the Euro JPY yesterday and today. And I will explain how the market has been changing from yesterday and today in the one hour basis and what I expect for the market to happen in near future. So that that will be a good example for to foresee the potential breakout or not according to the daily time frame. So let me squeeze my face. Okay, and let me start from the disclaimer. This information today is uh, basically based on my own understanding. So when you take trades, please do at your own risk. And uh, so uh, yeah, this uh, video session is recorded at 10:13 uh, a.m. in UTC time zone today, and it's going to be uploaded at 2 p.m. in UTC time zone. So every day, possibly, I do either video session like this or the live stream so that you can you can uh, update some information by Ichimoku and based on my strategies on these forex pairs and a couple of other markets. But today, especially, I would like to talk about the Euro JPY and what's happening from yesterday. So, here is the Euro JPY and this is on the daily chart. On the daily chart, this is too bullish because the Kumo Senko Span B flat but Senko Span A is up and Kijun Sen is up at the moment and Chikou Span above the candles. This is also a good sign of the uptrend continuation and also the price itself is above Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Kumo. And if you see Kumo also, the Kumo is getting thickness it's getting thicker and thicker of the Kumo, so I can see the potential continuous bullish on this daily basis. But now, in lower time frames, it's been flat or going backwards, so that's where I look at the one hour chart time frame. But before going down to one hour chart for today, let me share with you how I analyzed the chart yesterday on this Euro JPY in one hour time frame. So that you can see the difference between yesterday and today, and you can redo the lines and also you can uh, reset the analysis. So, yesterday I posted like this. Um, so, it was in the P wave. So, on the left is a daily chart, on the right is a one hour chart. On the daily chart, it was bullish also it's from yesterday. And when it was bullish chart, on the daily time frame, in one hour chart, it was in the P wave. So you can see these two yellow lines. This is one descending trend line, one ascending trend line, tri trend line, and these are forming the P wave triangle. So within the triangle, I was expecting the market breaks upwards this way, since daily chart was bullish when I saw the chart yesterday. And that was a scenario. But let's see today what happened. And I posted the analysis today also on the Euro JPY. And today it looks like this. So on the right is a one hour chart. So P wave was originally drawn like this way. But today, or well actually from yesterday, after the London Open, New York Open, it went up initially as expected. But it didn't break the previous high. Well, technically it broke the previous high, but it was a bit shallow breakout, and the board itself was on the tip of the wicks from yesterday. So, and there was a double top 
in lower time frames and the market went downwards. So this was what happening from yesterday and today. And now it's been ranging still. It's going down. And but still this is in the box range. So this is uh, the major difference from yesterday and today in one hour chart. So once again, although the daily chart looks the same. So let me forward the daily chart also. The daily chart, if you see Kumo here, and Kijun Sen angle, and Chikou span looks the same, but the difference is in one hour chart. Once again, in one hour chart, it was forming P wave yesterday, but now this is becoming box range where the support is at the uh, 133.661 level and the resistance is at 134.125 level. So we have now box range, not the P wave anymore. However, here still, I still expect the market breaks upward in the box range because once again, daily chart is too bullish. So let me come back to the real chart. So you see the difference between yesterday and today in terms of a uh, in terms of the one hour chart. So, so here this is a box range, so you have to cancel this uh, P wave. You have to cancel these lines and you have to redo the lines of these resistance support levels as the blue line shows like this. So since the daily chart is too bullish, I still expect the market breaks upwards this way, but this moment because the market has been consolidating at the moment, it could retrace backwards to Tenkan Sen, is my uh, other scenario. So it can break the box range downwards and it can down, go down to the Tenkan Sen in the daily time frame, which is 133.322 level. That's possible. However, since this is too bullish, the market can bounce off of this Tenkan Sen and goes up afterwards is also the scenario and if i look at the one hour chart also in one hour chart i also use the key uh, the, uh this uh, ichimoku kinko hyo and as per ichimoku lines everything looks flat the kumo flat it's been twisting a couple of times and now the the kumo is keeping, keeping squeezing right now so there is no direction in the long term as the Kumo shows flatness and also Chikou span has been ups and downs as the market goes up and down and there is no sign of bullishness as per Chikou span because it's below the candles now. So and also so here in this case what I look at is the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen and this is actually one of my favorite ways to expect the breakout so let me cancel Kumo and Chikou span and let me only show the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen and explain how I expect the market breaks upwards. So here, if you see only Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, let me cancel the candlesticks also. If you only see this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen, they are dead crossing at the moment. So when you see dead cross in one hour chart or 30 minute time frame, um, there is no potential breakout upwards in this situation. So the potential breakout can happen whenever you see these gold crosses. Gold cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. In one hour chart, if you see this, then um, these are the timings where the potential breakout happens upwards. But when you see these dead crosses, then the, this is where the market retracing backwards. So you don't really expect the market breaks as per daily direction. So, um, if you're not really familiar with the multiple time frames, then I recommend you to stick to the daily chart or the forward chart first and really master the direction first. But if you can look at the mid time frames, then you can be more exact on when potentially the market breaks, when it doesn't. So let me show you the candlesticks one more time. So since we have the dead cross in one hour chart at the moment, um, there is no potential breakout to this way. It could break downwards. 
you could break the support line downwards and you can retrace all the way back to the Tenkan Sen in the daily chart, which is once again at 133.322 level. So, I never buy at this level. Um, I used to do it because um, whenever the market goes into the range, um, the market can potentially, after this support, it can go up this way. And it might be, it might go up in this situation, but to me, for now, I don't really use that strategy because uh, I kept losing by that strategy. And also, um, there are some fake outs too. The market can break the support line downwards, but goes down in, in the middle and it goes up this way too. In that case, in these cases, I get the I get these uh, fake outs. So uh, I decided not to take such a trade anymore. But instead, whenever I see the gold cross, I take I look for the buy chance. So the gold cross is happen within the box range. The gold cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen War. First of all, here. Or um, this was the cross, and the next gold cross was exactly over here. After this, a bearish candlestick. It was bullish, and then exactly here at the breakout. Before the breakout, there was a gold cross Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. However, this for a dead uh, cross happened soon, and then also the market broke the Kijun Sen downwards. You don't look for buy chance anymore. So after gold cross happens on this uh, one hour chart, you have to see the market above the Kijun Sen, and you can expect the market breaks the previous resistance line. So here too, you see the dead cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen in one hour chart, but the price itself was below the Kijun Sen. So after the market goes up above the Kijun Sen, exactly on this candlestick or this one, then you start to look for buy chance and expect the market breaks the previous resistance level in this case. And afterwards, the market went downwards, dead cross. So, well, dead crossing, the market went up above the Kijun Sen, which was not really reliable for its breakout. And now it's going downwards. And the price is at the previous support level in one hour chart where we see the dead cross of the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen here. So, so here's my next scenario is that the um, if the market bounces by this support line and start to go up this way, then at some point the market will break the Kijun Sen. And also we will see that there's a Tenkan Sen gold cross by Kijun Sen and then I will look for the buy chance afterwards. And then finally I can expect the market breaks the resistance line upwards this way. As long as daily chart shows an uptrend, I can create this scenario and look for the buy chance. Otherwise, simply I stay away from the market. So, this is actually um, my favorite setup, my favorite strategy. I look at the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen locations and expect a potential breakout in the mid time frames. So you can backtest the strategy and uh, you can find the, the power of this strategy because uh, this is usually what I do also. So this example was a box range but when I see the P wave I also use that too and also if I see especially ascending P wave uh, it becomes more effective. So today's example on the Euro JPY is the box range so um, it might take a bit more time, it might take a couple of uh, hours or a couple of days could be to have to for it to happen but when you see the P wave um, this gold cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen can happen sooner than this box range but you can back test strategy and really uh, you know uh, sink it into your strategy so um, yeah originally uh, the original books of the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Uh, it only talks about one time frame, such as daily chart or the weekly chart, one time frame to master Ichimoku, which is, of course, very important. You have to start from a daily chart 
and really master the five lines of Ichimoku and also three theories of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo too. But after you become a comfortable with doing that, then you can look start to look at the lower time frames and foresee the potential breakout. And I say potential because um, of course it's it's not hundred percent true always. Like uh, even here too, at the previous gold cross, it did break the previous high, and in this situation, it was a continuously bullish wave. So I was expecting the market breaks up over this way, and I was looking for the buy chance somewhere here. But uh, since the market went downwards, and I went to bed, I didn't really pay attention to the chart anymore. But if the market were going up this way, then um, from today morning time in Japan time, I would have been looking for the buy chance somewhere here. If the market continues to go up this way, according to the daily time frame. But here at, the, at this moment, I don't see the potential uptrend bullishness in one hour chart, and simply because there is a dead cross of Tenkans and Kijuns at the moment. And according to my own strategy, which is called KTS, if I show the Kumo and Chikou span one more time, then I also look at the Kumo Chikou span and I wait for the Kumo to be twisted bullish and the Chikou span comes above the candles as the market goes up and breaks the Kumo this way and then wait for the Tenkan Sen well, Gold Cross Kijun Sen and I wait for also the Kijun Sen point upwards this way and start to look for the buy chance then. In this situation, um, most likely looks like it would be after the breakout of the previous resistance line. But if it happens before the breakout, I still take a trade. With a 2% risk per trade, I take a trade and expect the market potentially breaks upwards. Because if it breaks, then the market goes, goes uh, rap rapidly and that will be a very time efficient trade. So. Sometimes I look for an entry edge within the range in market in mid time frame and expect the market breaks upwards or downwards. <clears throat> but the major condition should be the trending pairs, trending market according to higher time frames. So always, like I say, always look at the daily chart and forward chart first and make sure that you have these higher time frames to be trending, then you should be fine. Simply when the market retraces backwards, then you exit, you only risk 3%, you exit and look for where to re-enter the market or simply look for other opportunities on other pairs or markets. So thank you for watching until the end. So. Uh, Today is once again on the 2nd of June, we are in the new month and a new momentum here. So since we have, uh, this is the first week of the month, we have big news. Uh, so uh, especially the NFP, non-farm payrolls in the US on Friday, you have to be careful if you're taking trades on the dollar pairs or the gold. So I hope uh, you enjoyed today's video session. If you liked it, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video session live streams every day on my YouTube channel. And in terms of GTS class, GTS is uh, my hands-on training, which is only up to five members in the group. And there is still two seats available and one's almost fading. So there's technically one seat available in the month of June session, sorry, July session. So if you're interested, please check the link below the description and please access to the Global Training School page. And uh, if you're interested, please contact me through the contact form or email directly. So thank you for watching once again, and I will see you on the next one. So until then, please stay healthy, stay safe, and stay gold. All right, matane everyone. Thank you. Bye for now.